We will come back once again to provide in collaboration with Efuma Solutions. In this tutorial, we will begin by solving some of the equations we asked to lay our hands on in the previous lesson. Then we will take division of complex numbers and also talk about complex plane, how to represent complex numbers on the word Cartesian plane. I hope to this lesson will be such a joyous one. So let's get to the board and try solving the given assignments. We will be solving the part A and the part D. The rest will be solved in order to tune out. So without wasting my time. <coughs> so we're given A as 2 plus 3i all to the power 2. So we first multiply what's in the bracket that's the expression the bracket by itself because of the squared and that gives us 4 plus 2 into bracket 6i plus 9i squared when we use binomial expansion and this further gives us 4 plus 12i minus 9 now the 12 is the product of the 2 and the 6 and also the minus 9 comes about because of the 9i squared the i squared gives us minus 1 as we learned early on so minus 1 by 9 gives us negative 9 that's how we get the 4 plus 12i minus 9 and further simplification gives us 12i minus 5 so with the question d we're also given 2i all to the power 121 we solve this by first distributing the power to the expression in the bracket as we learnt its indices so we split it by having 2 to the power 121 by i to the power 121 also we want to get rid of the power which the i carries so we further use indices to split the power of the i so that we get i to the power 120 plus 1 so from indices we can further split the i so that we get i to the power 120 times i and we still split the power of the i which is the 120 so that we get 2 by 60 so we have 2 to the power 121 times i squared to the power 60 times i now we know that i square is negative 1 okay so we can see it in the expression here that i square becomes negative 1 now and negative 1 to the power 60 becomes a positive 1 and we can see that here so our final expression is 2 to the power 121 by 1 by i and this finally gives us 2 to the power 121 i i hope this is very useful so we'll be continuing with our next topic so with this we can move on to division or complex numbers assuming we have two complex numbers let's say a which is a plus b i and let's say the second one b which is c plus d i if you want to divide a by b it simply means you are going to divide their components as well now it seems there is nothing else we can do but don't forget we talked about complex conjugates in our previous lesson so we multiply each side by the complex conjugate it's just like introducing one we do not change the equation so the complex conjugate will take that of the denominator which is c plus bi so we change 
the positive b to a negative b, giving us c minus b i over c minus b i. So that this can cancel that. Now we multiply through. So we multiply through, we'll be having a c minus a b i plus b c i minus b b i squared all over c squared plus b squared and when they are numbers we simplify them further to get the final solution so let's